From electric cars to rocket ships and plans to colonize Mars, billionaire Elon Musk is also pushing medical boundaries. He says his startup company Neuralink has successfully implanted its first wireless brain chip into a human. And on his social media platform X, he introduced us to his patient. Here's CTV's Joy Melbourne. The first ever user of the Neuralink device. Meet 29-year-old Noland Arbaugh, paralyzed from the shoulders down after a diving accident eight years ago. He describes his new abilities as a kind of telepathy, like something out of the movie Star Wars. Basically like uh, using the force on a cursor <laughs> and I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen, um, which was such a wild experience. Let me just flip the camera on. In a video stream, Arbaugh shows how he plays online chess, directing uh, the cursor to move uh, with his I mind. Play. It's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's that's all me, y'all. Um, pretty cool, huh? After years of controversial testing on animals, Neuralink was cleared for human trials. Billionaire Elon Musk hopes to commercialize his device. The chip, about the size of a coin, implanted in the skull, reads neural activity in the brain, beaming it back to a computer, transforming thought into action. So you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking. So you can think about ways that people can get back abilities that they've lost, but there's no reason not to think outside the box. If you can move a mouse on the screen right now, you can envision a future where you can drive a car with this stuff, right? I mean, this is this could completely change everything. Neuralink is just one of a number of companies and universities working on this type of technology. Our boss says it isn't perfect. There are challenges, but it has changed his life. Just wanted to help. Um, I wanted to be a part of something that I feel like is going to change the world. A first step, merging mind and machine and giving hope to many. Thank you, everyone. Yep. See you all later. Joy Malvin, CTV News, Washington.